Hey guys, this is Austin. So I just got my hands on the new DualShock 4 controller for the PlayStation 4, so let's take a look. First of all, the new controller is absolutely the biggest departure from the original design since the PlayStation 1. It's bigger in most dimensions compared to the PS3 controller, which always felt a little small to me, but it has kept a similar layout with more grippy thumbsticks and a tweak to D-pad. You'll find a new touchpad in the center of the controller, like on the Vita, which doubles as a click pad, although it is in a slightly awkward position here. There's also an LED on the back that works like the PS Move if you have a PlayStation Eye, and a micro USB port for charging. Below, you'll find a new speaker, PlayStation button, along with the jack for the bundled headset with the PS4. Coming up top, the triggers have been redesigned with a much more substantial feel, and that actually comes across for the entire controller. It feels rock solid in the hand no matter how hard you grip it, but it's also fairly light. It's also got a subtle grippy texture on the handles, which again feels nicer than the DualShock 3. Almost immediately, I could tell a major improvement with the new controller. It feels a lot more similar to what you would find on an Xbox, but of course it does have some added features like motion sensing as well as the trackpad. If you take a look at the box for the controller, it says it's only for the PlayStation 4. However, who listens to instructions anyway? Just like the Xbox One, if you plug it in via USB, it turns into a wired controller. To set it up with a PS3, you'll need a micro USB cable, supported PS3 game, and a DualShock 3 if you have one handy. One thing I should mention is that not all PS3 games are supported by the PS4. So there's a great thread over on r slash PS4, and I will have that linked in the description, that goes over what games do and don't support the PlayStation 4 controller, but the good news is most games that I tried work no problem. Since it connects over USB, all you need to do is hook it up to the PS3, and bam, you're up and running. You will need to keep it wired, but it works well, with the share and option buttons replacing start and select. Unfortunately, the PlayStation button doesn't work, so this is where keeping the DualShock 3 around for hopping out to menus helps. Using the PS3 and PS4 controllers back to back, the main difference is how much wider the new controller is. The handles are also a bit longer, which fit better in my hand, and the subtle tweaks to the back and triggers make a surprisingly big difference. That's not all though, you can also hook up the DualShock 4 to the PC. Unfortunately, this isn't quite as well sorted. Windows detects the controller and all of the buttons no problem, but most games seem to be designed for an Xbox controller. Interestingly, Steam Big Picture Mode works right out of the box, however when you jump into a game like Left 4 Dead 2, it's not quite fully working yet. So what do you guys think about the DualShock 4? Are you going to be picking one up, especially once we get some better PC support? Definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel so you're always kept up to date with the latest and greatest. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.